When you sign up to a voiceover casting website, one of the things they're going to ask you is your voice age. Now, this is the age that you sound when you're talking. Now, you may sound like your real age, or you may sound a bit younger, or you may sound a bit older. It, it just depends. But getting a second opinion is really important. But I think there are a few things to bear in mind. A student of mine contacted me recently, and he was looking for, for me to, to ask his, his voice age. And he said that he felt he sounded younger than he really was. In fact, his, this came from his partner who had said to him, oh, you sound much younger than you are. And, and, and this guy is sort of a mature adult, if you like, sort of maybe round about my age, perhaps a little bit younger, maybe a little bit older. And she thought he sounded uh, much younger than that. And he's got a light voice. So I think what his girlfriend was doing was assuming that a light voice equals uh, a, a younger voice. But that's not necessarily the case. And it's worth bearing in mind that men will find that their voice is very deep, usually uh, uh, post-puberty. Your voice breaks and then it gets very deep. And certainly in your 20s, your voice it is, can be really rich and resonant for, for some men. Um, but then what happens later in life, particularly sort of late middle age onwards, male voices tend to go up the register. So they rise in pitch. And that's because we tend to lose body mass as we get older. And that's muscle mass. And that affects the voice. And it means that the vocal folds become a bit thinner. They become less responsive to air and so on. And that makes us go slightly higher. And you can hear that in people like David Attenborough, for example. He talks very much like that, so he's quite high in his in his speaking. But if you were to listen way back to early recordings of him, and there are quite a few on, online because he's been around for a long time, but sort of going back 30, 40 years or so, his voice is much deeper, much more resonant, and that's because his vocal fold weren't 90 years old. I mean, the guy is fairly old. So so are his vocal folds and they've got thinner and weaker over, over the years. So with men, a higher pitched voice, particularly in later middle age, uh, is often the case. So bear that in mind. Now, with female voices, the reverse tends to be true. So you may find that post-menopause, uh, a female voice will become deeper and richer. And that's because their vocal folds become thickened with hormonal changes. Now, that can sound very attractive and it can be part of very much part of you uh, in later life. So I think it's also worth remembering that your vocal age is not a vanity exercise. You're not trying to sound younger. It's really important to remember that. You're trying to give an age that is an accurate reflection of what you really do sound like. Now, some people say, oh, I can do a teenage voice. I can do a voice that's much younger than me or even much older than me. But I think you have to bear uh, in mind that voiceover is not, or the sound of the voice is not just about the pitch, where you stand in the register, where you sound in the register. It's also about cultural influences. And it, that affects the way we speak. And it affects the way we read a script. Just the phrasing and the patterns of those speech are very much about where we grew up, and also our age. So if you're trying to, if you're a middle-aged person, say, and you're trying to be a young voice, teen or 20s voice, that's very difficult to do because it's not only the pitch that you're trying to change, and you'd probably have to, if you were an older middle-aged man, for example, you'd have to make your voice sound deeper rather than almost counterintuitive, isn't it? You'd have to make your voice sound deeper because your voice will be quite high as a, as a late middle-aged guy. And not only that, but you would have to, in the patterns and, uh, of your speech and the phrasing, you would have to sound like you'd 
played video games most of your life and use social media because those influences have a profound effect on the way we we sound and that's why you can tell someone is in their 20s or, or teens or whatever you know you can just hear it it's not just the the tonal quality of their voice it's the way they they phrase things and the way they talk and the pauses between words or the, the lack of pauses and so on and vice versa someone who's much older uh, may have been like my age may have been brought up in the 60s and 70s our formative years when our big cultural influences tended to be rock and roll but they tended to be television and radio as opposed to social media and and gaming which of course didn't exist so our peer group pressure our peer group echo chamber if you like was very very different and that has a significant effect on the way you speak so it is really important to try and stick to your own age bracket when you're saying this is what I sound like you know I sound 58 because I genuinely am in my 50s or whatever Now, one of the hardest things is to actually place that number or range of numbers. It's best to do a range if you can, sort of 50s, 60s or 30s, 40s, whatever. Uh, It's very difficult to do that yourself because we're listening to ourselves inside out. Our cochlea and eardrums are buried deep in our in our skulls, and that means that the sound resonates around our, our craniums, um, but also around our, our chest cavity and our whole body. So that gives us a distorted view. We're basically listening to ourselves inside out. So you want an objective person to listen. I would say your first port of call is to ask your uh, your coach, your voiceover coach, if you've got one, and get them to come up with an age range for you. Um, you can also ask family and friends, but beware, because for them, they they may not want to insult you, even though they, they, you, they won't be insulting you, but they may feel, oh, if I say she sounds slightly older than she really is... Um, or she sounds middle-aged or whatever, she'll be really upset. But uh, say to them, look, I'm not asking you to boost my confidence on this, you know. I'm not looking for compliments. I want you to genuinely tell me what age range you think I am, sort of within, you know, five or ten years, just honestly. And get them to listen to you doing some voiceovers. Get them to sit with, with their eyes closed, listening back to you, and see what and see what they think. And that way you will get a real sort of sense of how other people view you. And I think that's that's important. So your age, your vocal age is important in voiceovers. It will give you a position in the marketplace, but it needs to be an accurate reflection of what you sound like. And always remember that. All right. The main thing is, of course, to look after your voice. Always do that. You want to, to keep that precious instrument that you have. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching.